how come there's no option to group dates in Excel pivot tables by week? Well, there is now, and I'll cover the secret hack. With this technique, trends and patterns become crystal clear, allowing you to make better informed decisions. Whether you're a seasoned data analyst or budding enthusiast, mastering pivot table grouping this way will elevate your data analysis game to the next level. Let's check it out. So here's some data. I'm going to turn this into a pivot table. Go click anywhere here. Go to insert pivot table. Let's put it in my worksheet here. No need to put it into another worksheet. Click OK. Let's pull in the quantity to my values and the date into my rows. And what you'll notice is Excel has automatically grouped my dates by months. Now, this is some behavior that it does automatically in some instances. And if you don't want this to happen, what you need to do is change some defaults. I'll show you those defaults near the end of the video, but let's move the months out. We don't need the months. Click the months to get rid of it. And now it's in this date format. And all I need to do is right click and choose group. And what you notice that there is no weeks here. And so what we need to do is choose days. So I'm just going to choose days, uncheck the months. And how many days? Well, we want to do weeks, so we want to do seven days. So click on number of days, press number seven, click OK. And now we have our weeks. But you're going to notice something. We have January 1st starting here. And if you know January 1st for 2002, it does not start on a Sunday. If we wanted the week to start on Sunday, it starts on a Saturday. And you can see here that January 1st starts on a Saturday. If we wanted our week to start on a Sunday, we've got to change something. So what do we need to adjust? Well, let's click back here and go back to group, right click group. And where it says starting at, we want to start it on the second. So it's going to be 1-2-2022. And that's when it's going to start. Click OK. And now you notice that it's going to be our seven days here. The second to the eighth is the first week. The ninth to the 15th is the second week. And so now we've got our weeks. What we can also do is change the header here where it says date. Just change that to week. And now we've got our groupings by week. Now, if you're one of the situations where you're doing payroll, maybe you don't want week, maybe you want bi-weekly. So what you need to do is right click, go in here, go back to the group and bi-weekly means 14 weeks instead of seven weeks. Type in 14, click OK. And now it starts on the right day of the week, which is Sunday and it goes 14 weeks here. Now, remember when I said when you create a pivot table, it automatically groups into months. And if you don't want that default behavior, you need to change something. You go under File, go under Options, and under there, then you go to Data. And under Data, you're going to see this here, Disable Automatic Grouping of Date Time. Click on that. Click OK. And now it does not group it into months when you create a date. So go back here, go to Insert, Pivot Table. Let's make a new pivot table on the existing worksheet. We'll put it here. Click OK. And now when we put in our quantity and put in our date, it's not going to put the months down. It's going to put in the dates. So there you have it, a powerful pivot table hack that will give you an indispensable tool for streamlining your data analysis process. Start your journey today and watch your data analysis go to the next level. Click the like button and hit subscribe to stay updated on more Excel tips and tricks. Remember to share this video with your fellow Excel enthusiasts and stay tuned for more exciting content. To see more videos like this, click the banner at the end.